Good afternoon and welcome to today's press conference to focus on new legislation just enacted by the Council on Tuesday focused on co-locating affordable housing with new or significantly renovated county-owned land facilities in Montgomery County. This Council's commitment to affordable housing and to making sure that we are taking advantage of every available resource we have. And one of the best resources that we have, one of the most important resources that we have in county government is land. But we can't address it. We can't make an impact in terms of making housing more available for more people if we don't have more housing available for more people. And so what this is going to do is allow us, using the county's resources, using the county's land, to provide more opportunities for more people. And in these projects, the county is in control. We can provide the type of affordable housing that we want in so much as we're willing to commit the resources to make it happen. Housing that will impact people who are making thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 a year, that will bring more transparency uh, to our county, working towards more deeply affordable housing. The best way to reduce cost is to use free land and actually build apartments and townhomes or whatever, whatever other types of housing units are needed on those properties. It's one thing to have affordable housing, but making sure people can afford the community they live in. That's making sure that they can access resources like libraries, recreation centers, and other things is also part of not just making sure we have affordable housing, but we have affordable communities. I think this, this, is, this is a great opportunity to really look at how the county can uh, put skin in the game in terms of really creating uh, affordable housing, deeply affordable housing, as uh, uh, Councilmember uh, Fanny Gonzalez stated. The housing crisis is something that a lot of students are facing directly. Um, that means students who go home and genuinely don't know if their parents are going to be able to afford to live in the community. Montgomery County boasts that we are such a diverse, inclusive community, but we need to continue legislation and work that is going to ensure that these people have a place within our community, and that starts with affording um, housing.